hey fire signs I'm trying to do some element readings for this week and hopefully other weeks so we'll see how this goes um, this is for fire signs um, <clears throat> Aries Leo Sagittarius I don't know why I blanked on that for a second and hopefully this reading will be quieter than the water signs reading because I literally just had to lock my dogs up in their bedroom because they <laughs> wanted to like do toenail things like clicking around for the entire last reading so anyway um, that was aggravating so I just shuffled and pulled your cards and like wow something is really going on for you guys and it looks good um, <clears throat> the first card is the ten of pentacles and right beneath it is the Ace of Swords. And I feel like a lot of you are really getting an idea of how you, what direction you want to go with your life at this point. Like you might have been trying a whole lot of different things. You might have been sampling stuff. You might have been um, trying to figure out what your real niche is in this world and I feel like you have now like had this moment of truth like yes this is what I need to be doing um, to not only support myself but to make me happy and fulfilled this is my mission and so a lot of you are really stepping into that new level of knowing your mission and feeling um, your your purpose on this planet um, this week so some clarity is coming through on that um, the second column is justice with the sun. And I feel like, so there are a couple different things that this is telling me. Um, obviously, this is a reading for a lot of people, so it can mean a number of things. But we, we've just come through this huge phase of transition, and it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of work to try to balance out all of the pieces of ourselves um, to try to bring the shadows into light and to try to marry the different halves like the the masculine with the feminine half um, and to try to bring forward those parts of ourselves that are either hidden that we've stuffed away or whatever but I feel like you've had you've been successful at this like you've had some victory and um, because of that you know, that is the reason for your clarity. Like you are now more grounded and more stable in who you are. And this puts you in the position to really joyfully move forward in your mission on this, on this earth. This could involve anything from an amazing relationship to a new business to just like a new passion. Like maybe you've just learn that you have abilities and you're working on those or um, maybe you've realized that you really want to work with children I'm seeing somebody here is really dedicated to working with kids um, because of some kind of struggle or issue that's come up with their own like young teenager like I'm thinking like somebody who has a 15 year old son or something um, and that has helped bring you clarity on your path forward. Um, a few of you have literally had a, a legal victory that has just happened and this has provided you with um, possibly even the resources to be able to move forward but more than anything it's balanced out uh, the scales and something that was done wrong has been made right. For most of you though I feel like this is all about clarity and this is all about mission. Um, some of you, this mission involves family and a really important relationship, one that's very stable and grounded and potentially um, becoming a marriage or, or it involves a marriage. Um, in either case, this might be a new marriage because the sun is coming up. I feel like it's a, it's a new dawn or it might be a new phase in a marriage. I'm not getting that this is like your like long term, like you may have been in a marriage for like 12 years or something. I'm not getting that, that this is part of that, but some of you are entering into a new one. So, so that has become part of your mission. Um, 
<clears throat> either way this is your this is your legacy like what you're working on now what has come up for you is your legacy um and this is after a period of real hardship you're moving forward out of it you're moving out of of a lot of struggles and a lot of arguments and a lot of like ego battles so you may be coming out of a relationship where there were ego battles and then you finally met this person who brings balance into your life and is possibly your divine complement because they because of the justice card because of the balance there um, and they bring a lot of they are shedding light on a lot of different things. They're bringing clarity. They're showing you the way forward. They're helping you to understand what your mission is. And they're helping you to feel grounded and stable in the physical world. Um, it may be that you're leaving a job that was nothing but chaos and, um, and arguments. And that also brings you clarity and it also brings you stability. Um, but whatever it is, you're walking away from something that was less than into something that is greater than. So that's the important message for this week, that um, to embrace the things that make you feel good. Embrace the sun. Embrace the clarity. Be, get very clear on the things that make you feel good and walk away from the things that are conflict. And it doesn't mean that conflict can never be worked through and that that can't become something good as well you'll have to use your discernment to know if that's the situation that's going on for you but the feeling is that essentially what you need to walk away from more than anything is is your own ego your own creation of this conflict by your unwillingness to um to admit the truth to yourself in the past. So it's possible that this clarity has come in to allow you to accept the truth of your situation. And this is like, this is a new journey for you. This is setting off on a new journey. The two of wands there, this is a brand new journey. And, um, you know, you have high expectations, high hopes. And if you are keep that mindset, if you keep the sun in your mindset and you continue to balance yourself, um, your return on your investment will be, will be great. I mean, will be amazing. Um, if you don't, then you have another issue to deal with, but this is about manifestation too, and laying plans in, uh, preparation for, for this great 10 of pentacles, for this legacy, for this fulfillment, for the stability. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, planning is not the end all be all, but at least having an intention and setting the intention and boldly sticking to it is going to be important this week and keeping that intention positive and clear. Okay, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if, if you want me to continue doing these um, element readings and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.